Throughout history, humans have engaged and inspired one another through story. The philosopher Paul Ricoeur argued that it is through the sharing of stories of our lives with others that we gain a greater understanding of ourselves and of our role in the larger community. Alastair McIntyre, another philosopher, wrote, I can only answer the question, what am I to do, if I can answer the prior question, of what story or stories do I find myself a part? This is why storytelling and public narrative are important skills of interfaith leadership. Storytelling can help us build relationships in spite of differences. Listening to stories can help you learn something about another person's religious tradition, as well as something about them as a person. That lays the foundation for a deeper relationship. This makes storytelling a powerful way to create safe, manageable, and welcoming spaces for interfaith engagement. Interfaith leaders use stories to share their vision of pluralism and interfaith cooperation. Compelling stories can then be transformed into what we call public narratives, which articulate not only a personal story, but a shared vision for the future. Stories and public narratives can draw people in and convince them to join you in your efforts. One of the most important stories an interfaith leader can learn to tell is how they orient around religion and how that orientation affects their identity in other ways. In the United States, we rarely discuss our religious orientation outside of religious communities. As a result, many of us have never had a serious conversation about our own religious or non-religious identity. Learning to articulate your own religious orientation will help you to create a space for others to think about and articulate how they orient around religion as well. Crafting compelling stories can be difficult. Consider breaking each story down into three components, challenge, choice, and outcome. Every story should start with a challenge. What is the conflict or issue of your story? Then, what were the choices that you made in dealing with that challenge? Finally, what was the outcome of those choices? This framework is particularly helpful when sharing stories about why you are drawn to interfaith leadership. In some cases, a story transcends the personal narrative to become something more universal. These public narratives motivate others by offering a compelling vision of the future. Public narratives are still stories, but with an emphasis on community organizing and social change. Marshall Gantz of Harvard University, a veteran of the civil rights movement, identifies three types of public narratives that effective leaders must master in order to motivate others to join the cause. These are the stories of self, us, and now. Telling a story of self is your chance to narratively say, I am here. It is a presentation of your values and motivations, your challenges and struggles, as well as your accomplishments and vision. Don't confuse this with a public diary. Effective stories of self are strategic and selective, shared with the express purpose of motivating others to action. Telling a story of us gives you the opportunity to talk about how your community is connected. These are stories about all of the things we share, values and experiences, hopes and fears, a history and the future we hope for. These stories build a sense of us by articulating a common purpose, united vision, and communal responsibility. The third type of story is the story of now. These stories illuminate the gap between the community's shared values and the present reality, emphasizing what Gans calls the fierce urgency of now. These are stories articulating why today is the day we start making a change toward the world we want to see, why we can't wait any longer. Try sharing your own stories. Start with your story of self, identifying your own values and vision. What specific experiences or encounters have led you to where you are today? What motivates you to make a change? What makes you someone who can bring different people together? Follow that up with a story of us, drawing in others to a shared sense of purpose. What are the common experiences or events that have bound your community together? What are the shared values of your community? How can you build on these to make effective change? What does the future look like for your community if everyone works together? Finally, identify why this is the time with a story of now. What about the present circumstances make today the right time to begin? What resources do we currently possess that we did not have yesterday? What might we lose tomorrow if we don't take action? Using this three-story structure, you will be able to identify your own inspiration and inspire others to take action with you.